happy day. Good uh, morning, Mark. We are at beautiful Lake Cumberland, uh, and uh, you can hear your engine purring like a kitten and uh, running very, very smoothly. Uh, we have, uh, uh, I just put it forward and uh, at a very low RPM, and you can see it start to push the water away back there. And uh, we didn't have reverse yesterday. Um, we think that uh, you know we had it during the survey. Of course, we had the we've had the floors out, which means the shifters out and so forth. So uh, we uh, and also we have put a new bearing in the strut. So uh, which has uh, the, the strut bearing before was completely worn out, no resistance whatsoever against the prop shaft, and so now. Uh, We got we got reverse. I don't know whether I'm getting it pulled enough or not. Right here. Yeah. Anyway, uh, we've got reverse now. We made that adjustment last night. So uh, there we go. So we are good to go there, and uh, it was actually adjusted too tight. Uh, believe it or not. And uh, the, the, if it's adjusted too tight, the brake band won't go around the planetary gear. Uh, and actually, it's just the way the linkage is made. So uh, we've got, uh, we're getting ready to do the main voyage. We're down to about 800 RPM. We've got uh, 30 pounds of oil pressure. And when I rev up, which as you recall from, see it doesn't want to go. We think that's the accelerator pump. And we're working on getting one of those on the way. It could be that the engine's not getting warm. Notice the temperature is still less than 100. Uh, but you can see the small needle on the amps. When I raise the RPM, the uh, amps come up. So that means you're generating and your gauge is working. So I'll drop that back down to idle. So I'm getting ready to launch. Uh, I'll launch and then we will. Uh, I'll go out and see if I can get get it warmed up and see if our uh, accelerator thing we think is an accelerator pump problem that goes away with a warm engine. And uh, oh, by the way, here's the other end of the gauge. This is the this line is filled with ether, and there's a bulb here, and that's the, that's the other end. Of, that's the sender for the temperature gauge. Yesterday, we did have some leakage of gasoline right around the accelerator pump. It has stopped by itself. We didn't do anything. So we're a little concerned about that. Um, even if we replace the accelerator pump and whatever kind of seal is under here, it's a Bendix carburetor, by the way. Uh, it's the first one that we've seen, and our specialist place uh, can get the parts, uh, and they're getting more than I just now. But I would watch this. This is something else I would watch every spring. I'd start this up on a fake lake and I would make sure you have no leakage around this shaft because I think we just, we probably, it's probably a leather seal and it probably sealed up once it got wet with gasoline. Uh, but it's uh, just kind of a concern to me and we're going to try to correct it before you pick this up. Even after we correct it, if we find that we get another leather seal, it's still going to be something we have to watch every season just because of the age of the carburetor and both so forth. Okay, uh, getting ready to uh, hopefully send you some video uh, of uh, your boat running. All right.